Yankees at Red Sox, as seen on the MLB Network showcase game. Rafael Devers getting the start at third on Friday. The last time he faced the Yankees, he had a game-tying home run in the ninth off Aroldis Chapman, which led to a 3-2 Red Sox win. So could Devers continue his success against the Yankees? But skipping into second with a two-out double is Bogarts. First hit for the Red Sox, and it brings up Devers. 18 games in the big leagues. Looks like he's been here forever. And he has opposite field power, which he displays here. And that ball is in the monster seats, and the Red Sox are in the lead. Take a look tonight. He hits this ball opposite field over the monster. Now here's the key right here. Watch this little bat tip he has, which gets the barrel started. Look at that right there. That's tilted towards the, towards the plate. And then it gets the barrel. Boston wins 9 to 6. We'll get to the rest of that highlight soon. And the Red Sox are now a major league best 13 and 2 since the start of play on July 31st. Araldis Chapman's struggles continue as he's allowed seven runs over his last four appearances. And Rafael Devers is batting 423 with four homers and eight RBIs over his seven-game hitting streak. After starting August with a half-game deficit in the Expedia ALE standings, the Red Sox have now opened up a five-game division lead over their arch rivals. The teams have six remaining games this season. Well, Tom, in a game that wound up 9-6 to six and involved 12 pitchers, it's hard to pick out any one thing or any one inning, but let's go with the seventh, where the Yankees got four in the top half and the Red Sox answered with four in the bottom half. A whole lot of action. It actually took an hour and two minutes. The entire inning, the seventh inning, StatCast powered by AWS will show us some of the runs scored here. Gary Sanchez, that's what they call light tower power. Didn't hit the light tower, but boy, it was headed that way. And then a first pitch fastball to Ronald Torres off the wall to put the Yankees in the lead. You think with their bullpen, they're in pretty good shape here to cut the deficit in the AL East to three games? Not so. Red Sox come back with a four spot of their own. Andrew Benintendi with a hit here on a changeup from Tommy Canely, followed by Mitch Moreland here. A changeup again with two strikes, one of five hits the Red Sox had in this game with two strikes. That's the one that puts them out in front. And this time, the lead held up. Craig Kimbrell getting the save with a perfect ninth inning with three punch outs. Meanwhile, the Yankees closer, Araldus Chapman, had another bad outing. The Yankees fall five back of the Red Sox in the American League East.